morning guys and welcome back to my channel. I just decided very late in bed last night that I would film a road to WBFF April 2021. It was my first ever bodybuilding show. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd do like a vlog of the final week. So we're officially seven days out from the registration night. So it's Friday and the show will be next Saturday. So I'll just show you through a few things um, with my nutrition and my training and my mindset going into it and yeah, just like all the fun stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting off the morning before work. I'm going to climb um, this mountain slash hill um, with a friend just to get in some cardio and the stairs are really good for your glutes and your thighs. So just to try trim down and yeah, just get some fresh air and good for your mental health as well. <laughs> So I just wanted to sit down and have a little chat with you and sit, uh, let you know how I'm going with my prep and how I'm feeling about the show. So I had quite a busy day yesterday. I got up in the morning. I did like two or three hours of cleaning. Then I had a nutrition client. It was this lady who had gastric sleeve surgery six months ago, but she still hadn't learned the healthy habits and nutrition information, uh, information to actually lead a healthier lifestyle even since the surgery so i think that's so so interesting and i'm so happy to help her change her life so i'm doing her nutrition plan and healthcare goals and stuff at the moment and then i went to work and then came home and to be honest the further i get into prep the more energy i've got which is very surprising i think most people feel the opposite of seeing these girls post online and they're way lower body fat percentage than me but they're like oh showing their abs but then they put feeling like death with like a skull emoji and the further i get into my prep the better i feel which is amazing so i finished work went to the gym and did legs after work usually i would have collapsed in bed by then and then i took the dog for a very very long walk i walked from my house all the way into town and all the way back it would have been over 10,000 steps like in the dark and yeah i was just having a great time all these birds were flying over like looked at the beach at night time like the stars in the sky and it was so nice and i'm like wow i'm loving the good healthy habits that this is bringing me and encouraging me to stay moving all the time and yeah just make better decisions with my food and it does like you are required to rest and rejuvenate and recover and make sure you're sleeping well so i like all of all of that side of it as well um, so why I wanted to do WBFF, I have looked at the woman competing for quite a few years and I've been interested in it for a while. I like this federation because it's very glam. I used to do lots of pageants and lots of modeling competitions and bars and stuff and I just never won no matter how many times I entered and I don't know if it's because I was too muscly like my legs are huge so I don't know if it's not the look they're looking for or what it was but I think this is a good in between of something so feminine and girly with how glittery the bikinis are and I just think they're absolutely gorgeous but I also like that they've got a much fuller look so it's already suited to my body type it's not focusing on being thin or um, like being as small as you can be. The women look very full and they look strong to me. So I'm very interested in that side of it. And I've always just been worried about a lot of women, they get negative body image or body image dysmorphia and they develop bad eating habits and like a bad relationship with food and it can be very intense and extreme because they share their stories online on how they're going so i've always been worried about those sides of it but people have told me that they think i'll be fine because as long as you go into it with the right mindset and know that you won't look like that all year round and yeah people have just told me that they think that i should i would manage it in an okay way and i think that i am um, and I was going through a really bad spot mentally and I was like, okay, like I'm going to do the show this year because last year it got cancelled because of COVID. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do the show in October. And then I saw online that it's actually, <laughs> it was six weeks away from when I decided. And I was like, oh my God. And I didn't know there was an October one as well. Like the dates were so confusing. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to do this now. Get myself 
out of this hole. I was absolutely beaten down from life. I didn't even want to cook myself food. I was still, for like a couple weeks, I was living off bread and coffee, like gluten-free peanut butter sandwiches. And my energy was so low. I had no self-worth because of all this stuff that happened, which, yeah, life always comes on highs and lows. And I just, I think if I didn't sign up for it, I probably wouldn't have gotten out of bed in 2020. I spent two whole months crying in bed and just didn't really get better for quite a long time. So it's been really, really good to have something to focus on and just the goal to work towards of eat, like making nourishing meals with whole foods and eating more veggies again because I didn't even want to cook for myself. So all of that side has been really good. During 2020, I also fell off the bandwagon with exercise. I think I've shared on here before and on my Instagram, I lost the interest in the gym which is very unlike me but at my old gym we had all these classes and I was doing hip classes and weights and then I was doing yoga and then I was doing boxing and then on the weekends I was going for hikes or if my um, friends were DJing I was out dancing and like I was so active and then coming here the gyms got shut down I just lost interest and I'd make up every excuse under the sun oh I'll go to the gym later oh just wait for my food to settle down oh no it's too late now it's too close to bedtime now I can't go <laughs> never thought that I would be like that and I lost a lot of muscle and a lot of, uh, a lot of strength so just having an actual program where you write down the weights that you hit and the reps so that it tells you if you've hit PBs, even just having those small wins along the way. One session, I hit five PBs in one session. And in the last two weeks leading up to the show, I think I've hit a PB pretty much every session. And even the walks that I'm doing with the dogs, it's getting a lot easier. I never thought that walking would make that much of a difference to your body because it's not high intensity and it's not hard, but it actually is really helping to strip down. So. I highly recommend just walking, but I would not have been able to do the same cardio if I didn't have a dog, to be honest. I couldn't do it in a gym. <laughs> I, I think that I'm doing my prep quite differently to everyone else. Number one, because of my diet, I'm not just eating like chicken, rice and broccoli. I'm still doing it 90% plant-based, which is how I've already eaten. And I'm not that strict because I am very intuitive and in tune with my body. I'm not pushing myself to the extremes. If I've been over my calories quite a few days, which means I'm not um, at as low body fat percentage as the other girls, but it means I am still recovering from my workouts. I am still feeling satisfied. I'm not fixated on food. If I've hit my calorie intake for the day and I've been laying in, like I was laying in bed for three hours the other night, I'm like, oh, I'm just still hungry, blah, blah, blah. Like, go to sleep. And I was like, I really want a peanut butter sandwich. So I just got up and made some more food and then went to bed, then I could sleep. Like I'm not so extreme and like hard on myself. And yeah, I'm kind of just going with the flow and listening to my body and giving it what it needs. I'm not being extreme. I saw a girl post on Instagram yesterday. I don't know if she was doing the same show as me, but she ended up quitting her competition after doing this whole prep because she was miserable and couldn't dine out at any social events and just wasn't herself and had no yeah, time to socialize, was feeling very isolated and I guess a um, little bit of uh, depression and stuff like that. So I really, really hope that more people can do it in a way where you still get into a great condition, but it's not so taxing on the body. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing the bikini round, which I don't know if I'm still too muscly for that in my legs, um, but I'll give that a go. There's also a brand new category, new to 2021. There's no photos of any previous girls, and that is a wellness category. So hopefully I'm the picture of wellness. Um, and it says they want a fuller lower body with less muscle separation. So it's not as intense as fitness, um, but I think that would be more my thing because it's literally a wellness lifestyle and everyone says that's what I promote. So ooh, very exciting leading up to the show, but yeah, I'm just trying to stay active and just trying to eat good meals and just be kind to myself and give my body what it needs. So yeah, just going at my own pace and doing it in my own way. <laughs> I quickly forgot to add yesterday I didn't put all my food into my fitness pal until right before bed when I'd already eaten anything and I was like yeah I've been so good today I only had um, like I pretty much fasted and just had 
snacks. So I thought I'd eat in super low calorie and just like a protein shake and stuff. And I was like, yeah, my calories would be way under today. I ate 550 calories, which is a third, like more than a third of my daily food allowance just in hummus alone. <laughs> This whole thing has been such a learning experience, like learning what foods are way higher in calories, but I'm just not hard on myself. I'm not like, oh my God, I went over. I was like, oh, well, at least my protein's way higher today and I'm feeling great. And at least I'm actually fueling my muscles and recovering. So when that stuff happens, I just laugh about it. I'm like, oh, that's hilarious. And then I don't beat myself up or starve myself the next day to get back under or anything like that. So it's all about your mindset and I'm just, doing it in a way that works for me. <laughs> I thought it would be cool to take you guys through a little bit of my posing routine. I'm still practicing and feel really nervous and awkward in the heels. <laughs> um, but I'll give you a little bit of an insight into what it would be like on stage.
Monday morning, we're officially starting peak week. I'm a lot more on edge today than I have been any of the other days. I feel like I'm holding way more um, body fat around my like my abdomen and my core and my abs aren't showing. I feel like I've had more defined abs in the past just from living life and being active. So it's the last thing to go this time. And obviously I'm not being as strict as the other girls, so I can't be too fussed about it either like you be strict and get the results or you don't but I'm um, just a little bit worried a little bit nervous um, my computer broke down yesterday and it's got all my business stuff on there and like half a week's worth of video editing so I'm hoping that all that stuff's not lost and it's a week turnaround time so I've just dropped off my laptop my gown is like 20 or maybe 10 like 15 centimeters too long it's just dragging on the ground i'm going to trip over it um it just arrived in the post in time so i found a lady who's literally going to sew it within two days thank god got my bikini altered and they sewed it upside down what if i didn't try it on <laughs> Imagine if I went all the way to Gold Coast and didn't even try it on to the day. They literally sewed it upside down. So like the shoulder piece is hanging down my waist. I'm like, are you serious? So all of that, I've just been trying to sort out this morning. Then I've got to go to work. Then I've got to get my nails done. Did my check-in with my coach, got weighed. Um, did a little abs workout this afternoon. I've got to walk the dog. And then I've got to do all my grocery shopping, all my meal prep again. So just hoping that everything works out <laughs> a little bit stressful it's just a little bit of learning about what the girls do and peak week because obviously it's very new to me so what you do is you cut carbs for about two days or so so um i'm just gonna make i've really been craving um butter chicken so i don't know how this works with the vegan version um because the chicken is obviously still made from carbs so i've really just been craving butter chicken for half a week or something so I'm gonna just get that and hope that that's an okay meal and then we're gonna make a broccoli almond protein salad so it'll be nice and light. I did remember a meal or a snack that this girl called Talia Page used to post about and it was cucumber dipped in stevia and cinnamon and I just keep late night snacking like if I'm hungry I can't say no because I can't sleep I'll be in bed for two to three hours I can't sleep if I'm hungry so I'm gonna buy some cucumbers I got told to buy heaps of high water foods still need to try getting my protein and I guess just have some healthy fats and then the two days before the show that's when you carb load and you eat like sweet potato and bananas and stuff like that so I'm still way over my calories so I can't be like too hard on myself kind of thing but I'm just a little bit stressful I stressed out and I just need to keep practicing my posing routine and just be calm Cassie everything will be fine and everything will work out in the day but I'm so scared for the actual event it's starting to hit me now so oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna get through the week and get it done. <laughs> I thought I'd just show you one of the meals that I'm snacking on in the car before I go to the gym, just finished work. So this is just broccolini, defrosted, frozen edamame beans and some almonds. And the sauce is super, super easy. It's just made up of rice wine vinegar, rice malt syrup, peanut butter and tamari. So it's very, very easy, keeps well in the fridge and easy to take traveling with you. I am really glad that I'm doing this vlog because it's going to be really, really interesting to look back on next time if I compete again or no matter what I choose to do in the future if I don't just to remember what the experience was like. But I did um, a, a leg session and a posing session today and my bikini got altered. They fixed it immediately and there was no issues, no questions asked. They did it in the same day and my dress just got altered in two days, which is amazing. The only thing that's still out is my laptop, which is my business. So my whole business is paused and I've got this whole to-do list of all the stuff I'm launching, all these people are going to get back to, like invoices to pay and we just can't do all that stuff on your phone. Um, so I'm a bit stressed out about that. I'm just trying to think of what the positives are. Oh, maybe it's just a sign that you need more time to practice your posing or like be more present when eating meals or something. So 
I'm just trying to think of it in that way and oh yeah it's frustrating but we're getting there um I wanted to have a little chat about how I'm feeling because I literally just had to call the counsellor in tears and I haven't cried for a little bit. I watched a video from Hattie Boydell, if you know her, and she was talking about comp prep and she said that everyone will cry like at least once before the show and tonight I was like, oh, whatever, I'm doing like so good, I haven't even cried yet and then within hours I was literally crying. When I was posing... I'd never picked apart my body so much. And they say, yeah, comparison is the, th the thief of joy. I've seen these girls post online um, saying, don't compare yourself to the other competitors because everyone's in their own journey, uh, blah, blah, blah. But I was just like, oh my God, they are so strict. Like these girls are walking like 16,000 steps a day plus the weight session every day, day in, day out, hitting their macros, hitting their calories. And I'm like, how like I'm doing so good for me <laughs> they're just like in another world um then I worry if I look the part I definitely feel like I've got gotten more body fat percentage like gained weight um in the last few days like my abs are popping l like less than usual I've definitely been more ripped in tones uh, tones just living my usual life or especially when I lived in Auckland I was looking at this old photo I'm like oh my god I wish I had that package to bring to the stage then I was just looking in the mirror <laughs> like a pimple on my butt from the heat my hair was all greasy the pink had all faded to yellow I was looking like white like just really pasty my thighs were jiggling when I was walking and I've never picked myself apart in the mirror I've always just been like oh you look great oh you look cute and I've never looked at the negatives or anything um or made up negatives so that was a bit of a reality check and then came home and ate a whole bag of salted caramel popcorn that was meant to be like a treat for another day <laughs> and I just sat on the floor scoffing my face with it and I was like oh my god this is why people binge eat because they it's so restricted and food is all they think that they can think about and there's so many bad foods that um that's all you want instead of just thinking like yeah all foods are good or certain foods are okay to have 10 percent of the time it's just like you can only stick to the good foods for this amount of time and then you just want a burger and pizza and all this stuff that's like not necessary only because in your mind you think you can't have it so yeah it's just been a little bit of a learning curve and then everything kind of piled up with the reason I decided to do the show and all the stuff that happened during 2020 and yeah just oh, the start of this year and it's just about like building up my self-worth again doing something for myself and getting back into those healthy habits and yeah just getting finding me again and getting my confidence back but I just I'm still um hurting from the things that happened earlier in the year and yeah I had to call the counsellor I'm very overwhelmed with what the next few months of my life are gonna look like I I am planning to move to the city I've got to get a job I've got to get a house in the city with a huge dog I've got to get settled again I've got to make new friends all over again and it just seems like there's still so much stuff I've got to do here, like, oh, get, like, dentist operations and, ah, oh, everything just seems so impossible and I don't even know how I'm going to achieve it. So, um, the counsellor asked what stood out to me and I said, even though I was picking up my, picking apart myself in the mirror, what I did say when I was practicing my walk and I was like seeing my thighs jiggle and stuff and I felt really short and like chunky <laughs> no I'm not but it's just our minds um when I was doing that walk I was like at least I know I'm unique so if I can just focus on being unique when I'm actually on the stage no matter if I don't fit in that might be a good thing so I've got to focus on that with my personality and my looks as well and just focus on being different because then it doesn't matter if you don't fit in. So that's number one. Number two, I've got to write down all my goals with the steps to achieve it underneath. So it's um, little steps that are attainable instead of just thinking of this huge, 
life transformation how would i ever achieve that um and worried that it will just fail or what that it will never happen just having those smaller things underneath what's the first step to achieving this part of the goal kind of thing so just need to work on those few things um but yeah just wanted to share a little bit of reality and how i'm actually feeling the stuff that I'm starting to realize because yeah, it'll be really good to look back on later and just good for anyone else who's thinking about doing the show, some of the thoughts that may go through your head or the struggles that you'll have. So yes, good night for now. I just wanted to do a little bit of a recap of show day. Um, so I ended up placing third in wellness for my first ever bodybuilding show, my first ever time stepping on stage for something like that. And it's one of the biggest shows in the world. It's literally called World Beauty, Fitness and Fashion. <laughs> so I am over the moon. I didn't place, I didn't even make top 10 for the bikini round. And then um, I was still super stoked at the other girls because they really, every, I'd never seen everyone in a room who looks the same. Like everyone is so ripped and beautiful. And I was like, oh my God, the competition is hot. <laughs> yeah, it's such amazing conditioning. Um, but anyway, they, 
uh, I didn't I didn't play sport bikini, but I was super, super stoked for those girls. And then I just thought to myself, oh, it'd be really cool if you just placed third in wellness. Then I was like, no, no, your goal was just to show up and your goal was just to step on the stage. So don't have high expectations, like you only prepped in six weeks. And yeah, these other girls are really amazing. Um, and then I must have just, yeah, called it and they called my name out for third place in wellness. And at first I thought that maybe they got the wrong name. <laughs> And then I started walking for uh, walking for in the whole all of 2020 and the whole last few months of my life flashed before my eyes and I burst into tears because I can't believe the stuff that I've been through and literally just signing up to this show in such a short amount of time and everything that I've done just to prepare like all the posing get, like building muscle in literally a few weeks getting my diet on track after living off bread and coffee for weeks after <laughs> the, that period in my life and I just couldn't believe it so I'm honestly so over the moon um a little bit about show day um because I had a, I reunited with my friend from university we hadn't seen each other for four years and she said that if she ever did a show like that she said I wouldn't even know where to walk or what you need to do on stage but honestly it's so well run there's literally someone standing behind the curtain there, there's people who come and come out and call you from your change of room when it's time to line up and honestly it's just so well organized and they've got you all in this specific line someone at the curtain telling you exactly what walk you need to do exactly how many poses in each area yeah, this one's two poses at the front then you've got the t walk blah 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 otherwise it's a v walk do you stay on stage do you uh leave the stage and they give you everything you need to know there's even a, like a whiteboard with a drawing so they can map it out for you um so the show is just so well run so glamorous the registration night was at Versace which is just the fanciest place I've ever seen and then the show was at the Star Casino and Gold Coast so you just feel so yeah just it's just so nice going to those awesome venues um the other girls I was worried about what it would be like competing with all of the other women uh, because you don't know if they'll not be friendly or if they'll give you dirty looks or just be very competitive Honestly, I'm nearly crying. The girls were just so genuine and helpful. Like, very, very surprising. And yeah, they just, they, ah, oh, I just made some awesome connections and I followed most of them on Instagram. Um, hopefully I find the other people's accounts later because I just can't wait to connect with them again. Um, the bikini, the clear strap on my bikini top broke, so another girl lent me a strap so that I could actually hold myself up. Um, the other girls were giving each other chocolate in the break during the midday before the night show and then had two other girls lend me earrings because I forgot my little box of jewellery and even uh, when I walked backstage with all of my prizes and my bouquet flowers they all cheered and then one girl was like no no go back out and then come back in and then she video and then when I came back in all the girls cheered again for the video I was like oh my god this is so cute <laughs> so honestly the girls were really like yeah honestly the best which is awesome um what would i do differently next time basically the uh the, the main thing is just better conditioning so i the other girls had such low body fat percentage the abs were popping way more i did notice myself leading up to the show comparing myself to the girls who i knew i'd be competing against um they were in such a lean condition they were very dedicated very um, determined with their mindset, like didn't ever eat over their calories or give in to temptation. They stuck to the exercise routine day in and day out, which is um, not easy. And then I'll just compare their bodies to mine. I'll be like, oh my God, that's so amazing. How could I ever go up against them? But what I really did learn is you can only compare yourself to yourself. So I have been way more ripped and shredded when I was in Auckland just living my life but I was very very active and I was just eating so many salads and stir fries and I was just having such a good time and my abs were honestly just popping way more so I had to tell myself oh, it's been good I was like you can't look like that girl because you look like you you can't have your body because you've got your body you can't have her face in here because you've got your face in here so it's just a good reminder to just stay in your own lane and treat yourself as a unique individual and bring your best self compared to your previous your previous self so you can't compare to others just 
focus on what you can bring to the table. And the other thing was, when will I compete again? So there is a show in October this year. Otherwise, I think the one I'm looking at is next April. As I didn't place in bikini, if I wanted to do two categories again, I could level up and do wellness and fitness. Fitness means that you can wear those huge Victoria's Secret outfits. Oh my God, how exciting would that be? Um, but it also means a lower body fat percentage, exact symmetry within your muscles, and it's very, like, it's another level up to achieve that with your body. So it would be a little bit difficult. Otherwise, I could try bikini again, but I just don't know if my legs are too muscly. So I have to wait for the feedback from the judges. And um, the main thing I'm focusing on right now, I've got to leave this country town and I've got to move to the city. I've got to start a new life. I need to find a new house. I need to find a new job that I enjoy. I need to get back to New Zealand to see all my friends and family who I haven't seen for over a year. So there's a lot on my plate and then just need to focus on getting settled, getting comfortable, getting stability and just starting that new path. So that's my number one priority. And then I'll compete once I'm in another headspace and everything's kind of starting to get its flow again. So yes, a lot to comprehend, but I'm honestly just so stoked with the results. And everyone on my social media, I've never received so much support for anything I've ever done in my whole entire life. I've never had so many messages. Um, I've never had so many likes on a photo as the one of me like in the sparkly gown holding all the prizes. And I've never had that many comments on a photo and just everyone messaging me saying they're just so proud. Oh, I just couldn't believe that people cared that much. So it was honestly so lovely. So thank you to everyone if you've been on my Instagram and Facebook. Um, so if you, I'll wrap the video up. So if you liked it, then hit like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other videos. I'll link my social media below in case you want to connect, blah, in case you want to connect with me on there. And also my meal guides and my programs and things like that. So thank you so much for watching. It really, really means a lot that you're wanting to follow my journey and see what I'm getting up to. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much and have a fantastic day or night ahead.